cut your own corn off the cob. So that means I'm going to probably pick them out of the garbage. I must have superhuman strength. Do something. I brought you more corn. Appreciate what your parents do because they're feeding you. There it is. Well, we're back. We're going to now cut it off the cob. I want to show you how we do it. Do you see this board? This board has a nail in it. I don't know. Can you see the nail? Nail sticking straight up. My parents used to do this this way so this is the way we do it and we've wrapped the board in plastic wrap what you do is you got your nail sticking up so you take your ear of corn and all you have to do is like there and not hold your ear of corn out and then you just cut the <laughs> i just forgot what i was saying and then you cut, cut the kernels off cut the kernels off oh my goodness <laughs> and when my mom and dad did it they had a circular cutter which they don't garbage the garbage can lid fell down they don't have it anymore and it had blades all around and my dad would just go Zoop. i've been looking for it and can't find when i find one i will buy it you need a knife yes or you want to try our fancy dancy corn well, i'm gonna try i'm gonna try that one first you're gonna works. find the, do i don't the know corn. we'll try whichever one works the best okay and then <clears throat> i have freezer bags over here and this thing and i'm gonna fill 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 them up and freeze them but let's do something. I asked her if she wanted some gloves. So I got these little plastic oh. gloves or whatever. Yeah, I'll have and she's thinking, no. Okay, so now I went and got my real gloves. No! <laughs> That's what I thought he meant. He's like, I'm going to put some gloves on. And I'm like, no, you're not. Because I know he's got nasty gloves in the garage. I didn't know he meant these. I'm thinking like wel welding gloves or something? Or That's what, what, what I was kind thinking. Of... You're going to go put welding gloves on with you who knows what you're going to pull out of mr garage mr garage my magical garage that's yeah, what she called it so, magical all, garage. so there see i'm making a mess look at you excuse me <laughs> look at you got see it would be with. easier if we had the circular cutter because we might have to spin this around i don't know let me try this knife here i just put a little bit of a edge on here. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, look, it not. spins. It, it spins on this thing. <laughs> there you go. See? It spins on the nail. I wonder how much of this is going to hit the floor. Probably a bunch. I probably, you know what? You know what, I before need I do to... this, let me open this little guy up. You're going to try the corn I'm going to try the little corn dude. Alright. I need to I can get him this. open. Because I'm right-handed and everything's falling this way. And then we've got this garbage can over here that's broken, but I love it. It's just, the, it's a glad, how many gallons is it? I don't remember. 30 gallon or something? 30 gallon garbage can for in your house. Here, I'll show you. See? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's big and it has a foot pedal, but I broke it. And when you step on the foot pedal, it pops apart. I probably ought to just order okay, another one. Let's try this guy. This is going to be a pain right here. Here, how about if I just take that? Well, that doesn't come off. I don't know. You could fit a whole pizza box in that garbage can. Is that working? Once you get it figured out. I just hit him with corn. Yeah, this is fun. We're going to do this again because I like corn and I like the fresh corn. And at Thanksgiving time, is that working? Why don't you use a knife? Well, give me some time to get it figured out. It's working. Well, don't be making corn milk. You know what corn milk is? Nope. This goo that I have down here. I have corn milk. Cream. I don't. Do you like cream corn? I don't like cream corn. I just don't care for cream corn, and I don't know how much of this corn my body's gonna let me cut. So I'll be filling that soon. Oh, see, look how nice this is. And then you just whoop, right off. We got corn dude at all. These. Anybody's interested in purchasing corn dude? What do you think? A local oldies near you. I don't know. Let me try it with a knife first. This sure it is faster easy. and easier. 
Although I think I just cut half the cob. Oh, there's baby corn up here. Okay, which is easier, corn dude or the knife? I think the knife. Maybe corn dude is just like for little kids. I mean, it's not for this big project, but if you have corn in the cob with little kids, you can say, here, cut your own corn off the cob. Use corn dude. I like to eat corn when it's in the big hunks. I like the big hunks, big hunks chunks. I probably could start filling back. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm getting a, quite a pile here. Okay, wow. Well, corn milk, yeah. I wonder why they don't milk, make milk out of corn. All right, I hate these gloves. I am not a glove girl. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is put this in here like so, and then just start scooping corn in here. I thought it would make it easier. We'll see. Watch me drop the bag. Wonder how many scoops we, I probably could measure it, but it might be easier just to use my hand. Probably more. He likes to have... Now see, this is too much work. Alright, there. Three handfuls in a bag should do us. Because he likes to take, like, leftovers the next day when when I cook. He'll do leftovers. I stab myself. Well, why don't we, uh... Trade? You're slinging food everywhere. Let's do it this way. Okay. I'm slinging food everywhere. Food fight. Here, let me. I'll get yours. He's gonna cut me with a knife. One for good luck. So you see how I measure. I probably could get a measuring cup and do this, but why should why? When I can just use my hand, right? Right. Right. Now, what I'll do with these, when I'm done, is close the bags tightly and then lay them flat, freeze them flat, because then that doesn't take up so much room in the freezer. How's it feel being home? Well, he comes home to sleep. You know, we're working a lot of overtime this month and uh, cans and stuff, so this is odd to be home for Saturdays. Wish it was a nice... I bent the nail. Now, how in the world did I do that? I must have superhuman strength or something. Let me see if I can bend it back. Oh, hey, yeah. All right, then. I'm going to look for one of those cutters like my parents used to have. For those that want to know what, what size nail I'm using, this is a finished nail. I think it's a 16-penny finished nail. Well, maybe we should have used the quarter nail instead of the penny nail. Your wife wouldn't have bent it. It's about that long. If you have a wife like mine, use a bigger nail. Remember, I did this last year by myself. I don't think I did quite this much. And we ran out sooner than I would have wanted to. Now I've got corn gunk all over me. I would say a serving is my handful. Plus some. <coughs> That's a serving size for us. But this will be nice when the kids come over for Thanksgiving or Christmas. We I'll be back. Real corn, not like processed corn. I hope they appreciate this. Children, if you're watching, this is what you're having for a holiday. So That's I hope you please fun. appreciate it. You got a bad spot on, I'm cutting them off. Okay. And we got a little bad spot on it, so I'm going to Appreciate what we're doing here, children. And any other child out there, appreciate what your parents do because they're feeding you. And what they have to go through to do it, whether it's going to work or growing your own food because that takes a lot of work too gardening and then doing all the things so i have an itch appreciate what your parents do help them say hey mom dad can i help you would you like me to wash that big pot because i can no nothing is learn from them because doing this can save a ton of money over the course of a year yes Growing your own food, preparing your own food. And it's healthier. So I watch my parents do this all the time. Did your parents do this? Yes. We've always, always had gardens. We've always done a lot of things that that's kind of where I'm, I'm, that's kind of why I'm a do-it-yourselfer. 
He grew up with chickens, didn't you? You had some. We chickens. had chickens. We had pigs. We had horses. He won't let us have we had chickens. Ponies. Chickens are fine if you have the property for them. We don't. Yes, we do. We could put them out by the like somewhere out there. Well, part of what it, what I run into is over the years I've always worked, you know, had had farms. And uh, out in the farm, if you have a problem with raccoons coming into your corn crib or your chicken coop, you can go out there with a rifle and shoot them. Uh, well, we can't here, do that here. We can't do that. Listen, not that we want to shoot animals. Don't tell people that we want to shoot animals. I'm not want to shoot animals. I just want to don't protect my I my investment. I if I got chickens and cows and pigs, I don't want I understand what coyotes saying. and Jesus. raccoons and critters coming around to eat them. I put that, there's the nail coming out. Yep. Watch your knife. Look at that. I put that on there all wonky. Alright, I'm not cutting any more corn, but I will, I'll bag. Because, I can't. I'm going to set this in the sink. I brought you more corn. There's only a little bit more left over there. There's not a whole lot. I'm going to move that down so I have okay. more room here. Let me get rid of some of this here. I made an executive decision. We're going to put the corn cobs in the compost pile bin worm farm thing outside. Can you tell my back is hurting? When my back is hurting, I just can't talk right. I can't talk right as it is, but now I really can't. Maybe not all of them, but most of them. So that means I'm going to probably pick them out of the garbage just so I can put them in the compost. This is all we got? Yep, that's it. Now this is enough. We got a lot of small ones up on top here. Let me... Some of mine had that. I might <coughs> see. Cut the top off. Some of the small ones, I, some of the small ones, I, oh. was that me or you? <laughs> you. <laughs> Did I throw corn at you? I'm sorry. I must have hit him with corn. <laughs> right in the face. Now, I'll double bag these. The dog's under my feet. The dog's eating what we have. Every we drop on the floor, the dog eats. Everybody needs a dog in their house. Well, this dog will eat almost anything. Vegetables, fruits, whatever, whatever we drop, she'll eat. Now, I'm going to double bag these because I just don't trust one bag. That makes sense. So, after I freeze them flat, I'll put them in gallon size bags. So, um, when I freeze them flat, I'm going to, I don't want them sticking together. So, I'm going to freeze them in a single layer, put them in the gallon size bags, and then put them back in the freezer. I've had things stick together in the freezer before, and I don't want that happening now. I made a mistake one time in a freezer. I did, uh, I don't know, some kind of a, I think it was fish or something I put in there. I don't like I put a little bit of water in there, a little fresh fish, like like walleye fillet fish. We forgot Lake Erie. And uh, anyways, I uh, put some water in it to uh, let it freeze easier. But I laid it on the cut, rack, cut on and the talk. rack. Cut and talk. I laid it on a rack in my uh, freezer. You want to try this knife? It looks nice. And the uh, problem with that was, is the water went between the rack and got up underneath of it. So when it froze, I couldn't get out of the rack. <laughs> Bummer. Bummer. So I take the whole rack out, let it thaw for a while. I don't want to hear it, doggy. Now, when we do this again, I might try canning some corn. Oh, you know what? I'm going to dehydrate the rest of this. So yeah, keep cutting. But I'm gonna dehydrate. Is all we got over there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna dehydrate the rest of this corn. So this is what we have frozen. We'll keep cutting it off, and I'm gonna dehydrate the rest of this. Not in this video. Maybe another video. You might get to see us dehydrate corn. Probably. Hopefully it smells better than onions. Oh, that was bad. We'll probably have the same clothes on because it'll be the same day that we're making another video. We husk the corn in these clothes too in another video. We do change our clothes. We just we just shot the same video, three videos today. We're the same ones all the time. 
<laughs> all right all right we're gonna close this video out here and continue cutting the rest of this corn off and I'm gonna dehydrate this yeah I'm gonna do that because I just want to try it we will see you in our next video which might be dehydrating this corn that should be fun Maybe I should let Rob do it. He's never dehydrated anything before. You want to dry it? Do it? I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. All right. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.